What's going on guys? It's Shane with Blacktop Racing and I'm here at FedEx and rain is pending so I'm going to make this a quick one for the one takes. Thanks for joining me again. I am in an STR and B Miata. Yes, the stepchild of the Miatas. Too fast for STS and too slow for STR. So we're going to try and see how this kind of fares. So I am in Trevor Blackwell's car. Thank you, Trev. Uh, I'm just going to call this car the uh, the stepchild of STR. So um, he, he gave me some information about the car, so let's go through that as the sun is coming out, but the rain clouds are coming in. So this is a 1999 Miata. It's a PEP package with, with Torsen. Uh, it's running 17 by 9 uh, at Van T Storms with 225-45 rival S's. It has a stock ECU, surprising actually. Um, Swiss Cheese Auto X, I have no idea what it means. VMAX Extreme Sport Coilovers, Flying Miata Sway Bars, Super Miata and Links, uh, RB Front Sway Bar uh, Brace, um, Sway Bar Brace Kit, uh, and he has a 1.5 uh, degrees negative camber in the front with zero toe and rear is at 1.25 negative degrees um well actually what is that is that really the wow I, that's odd and i don't know why he put a six there but i'm assuming that was supposed to be a zero because uh a six toe doesn't make any sense but sure i'll clear that up with them and then you guys will see that obviously so str already ran and i that means i already ran in my car um, got a quick time in my car, um, so a good time in this car, I'm not sure what Trevor ran, but a respectable time, let's say, uh, NC's ran, I ran a high 60, a 66, 9, and then consistently ran 67, 1, so I assume this will be in the 68s. So let's see before Ashley starts raining out here, if I can get this running, strapping up today, boys! Totally forgot it. I know all y'all was giving me shit about it. Screw all of y'all, but y'all y'all right though. Safety first, guys. So car's properly warmed up. Let's try this thing out. All right. So I haven't driven an NB Miata. I don't know. I, I forgot to ask him if it has a L, um you know abs or anything so we we shall David see Galante to say the he least feels the f street lead with a 70.592 brakes so brakes feel a lot softer you know it is a 99 right so the thing is with the 99 cars they're not as they're not modern so everything's going to feel a little loose with everything so STS, which runs later today, and I'll actually be comparing an STS car, Captain Slow with Alan Claffey. So we'll check out that car later on and see, uh, you know, how it all kind of works out to see where the MB needs to be placed. Because right now, again, it's, it's a little too fast, but then a little for one class and a little too slow for another. Psychologically, though, 74.986 plus three for Steve Kittredge. Clean it up. And you'll advance. All right. So since this car actually has the rivals, Not first run William. most likely is going to be a nice blue. warm up. Yes, this is, course uh, is actually pretty darn quick. I was on a limiter uh, in my SDR car. That means 62 miles per hour. So I was do going down the hill. So in this, I'm quite sure uh, if I nail everything the same way, which I, sh I assume I should. I'm just going to be on the limiter so early. I'm most likely going to just look down and say, hey, I'm going this fast. And I, I just anticipate everything here just being a tick, tick slower. Uh, Danny Kao made this course today. Um, it was actually modified based off of what he wanted to run. He just came from the Cam Tour. So I think Larry Shu, uh, which everybody was mistaken Larry Shu for him or something like that. But uh, yeah. So Larry Shu made that cam course. He wanted to try and make that course the same way, but due to FedEx having a uh, football season started, they actually put up the barriers already. So we had to make do, but he did make a good course. Uh, nice, challenging. Uh, the gap between myself and some of the other cars weren't the same. So this Danny kind of threw in a lot of wrenches to a lot of people. So here we go. Getting ready to get started here. 99. Miata, STR light prepped it seems, or 
pretty decent prep, but nothing crazy. We'll see how this goes. All right, so low on power. You can just flat foot it like anything else. We'll see how the braking is, if it has ABS or not. Braking is not bad. Car actually rotates pretty well. Initially pushy. Braking early on here because it just falls off. Roll up. Aw, oh, man, we got a red flag for whatever darn reason. Aw, oh, that sucks. All right, hopefully the guy in front of me is not going um, light. Because I'm going to take it the usual 80% out here. I'm going to take the outside line. And then right here, just kind of bite it in. Go through here. It's about 59 miles per hour that it takes on that. So going up the hill, adding a lot of distance there. But oh well. A little lift. Bring it through. Day drive. <laughs> tight in here car rotates well no I'm not gonna argue that so not really gonna count that one but as far as the time wise but I, I, I'm filling out the car I didn't take it extremely fast I didn't take it extremely slow got the tires all warmed up so I think I am good to go here you got it next time yep so this time I ran a 79. The car has some grip. You can actually throw it in there quite a bit because you're not going as fast. It doesn't accelerate as fast. It has good grip because it is lighter than the NC, but it's not running as much power, you know? So that's one of the things that you, you just kinda, I don't know, what the hell you do with that one? But uh, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> So on that, that's yep. that's where it's like it's it, it's not gonna get down to a sixty to a sixty six by any means. So let's see what the gap is here. I think I can uh, pressures are everything's nice and warm now. Um, I don't know what his pressures are. I'll try and get that bit of information and put it on there. But I feel as though now I can actually uh, you know haul butt with, with a little bit more confidence. Uh, without the 10 seconds slow down there. So, the hill, since the speakers are here until we turn, I'll, I'll be a little bit quiet. All right, since he's not talking, so the brakes actually are not bad. Damn, damn speakers again. <laughs> so the brakes are actually not bad. Initially they felt, I mean, they feel soft. So they're not as tight as say like on the uh, NCs or anything like that, but they work efficiently. Um, there, I, I was nervous on the showcase. Finishing his second run. We are in second runs now. It was on the showcase where it, I got a little timid, but uh, actually didn't need to be. Uh, that the car has a little bit of twitchiness to it in this particular setup. This isn't all NBs. This is just this NB um, that I'm talking about here. So this, uh, in the Claffy's car, last time I believe I drove that, it didn't have uh, the nice, you know, power steering like this oh, one did. Oh no, Steve Mitchell, you were called off course a late call, so your 73 is defunct. My condolences. So steering actually feels Brian an MB. Track, it actually in feels. Blue. Volkswagen Golf R. Seventy-five point five eight one, but plus three. Although People still your fastest place. recorded time. Once Just wait until the pass the speaker. Unofficial. Right, I keep talking. Just like all the football games you've been watching this week. All right, now that we're past the speakers, talking about the car's dynamics. Uh, turn it feels good, G's feel good. Um, the steering actually feels similar to the uh, NC, which is nice. Um, shifting, 
Uh, feels good. It goes up to 69 based off of the tack, but I'm sure it's going a, a little bit faster. Um, it doesn't accelerate from A to B as quickly, obviously. I mean, these things didn't have, you know, the 160, 70 wheel horsepower that the NC does. Uh, this is a 1.8 liter, not a 2.0 like in the NC, of course. So this, I can only assume 140, and that's being nice. I will see, but I'll put the numbers down below on that one. Uh, I'll check that out. You probably already saw it um, in the edits. Got to edit these things, folks. Got to edit these things. But the NB is actually nice. I mean, if, if it's a nice car, although it hits a middle spot, so far the car feels nice with some um, with some decent parts on it and nothing really aggressive, you know. Camber is only at uh, negative 1.5. So it's not like he's running three degrees camber like um like in the nc and it'll be interesting to see what the claffies and those guys are running uh the nb oscar in csp actually runs the similar settings as the nc does so that one is actually uh interesting so that's why i was surprised that this was so low but hey it's working can't argue with that so timing right now is just doing some stuff so we're just pulling up slowly up to the line um, so interior wise, I mean, it's comfortable. I thought the NBs were, I wasn't going to fit very comfortable in it. Top, I have no idea, um, but initially it felt fine. These are the stock seats. Uh, it is STR trim, of course. So, you know, we still got our floor mats in on the passenger side because back then they weren't clipped in as well. And there is no clip, ow. Yeah, so no floor mats are allowed in here. Uh, this car actually revs up to 7,000 RPM uh, since it's the stock ECU and hits a whopping tachometer says or you know 150 there's no fucking way this thing is getting up to 150 if it throw it off a damn cliff I'm sorry or turbo it or as better yet my main man Klein he has the V8 in it put a V8 in this bad boy and now that Hauls some damn rubber boy literally or literally it just leaves the rubber all, all on the tarmac he has an mb silver similar to this and that one has uh what the ls from a gto with uh i don't know if it has high cams or not if you put them in but it has his own custom header and everything and it, it's same tires because he didn't put he didn't flare it out you know want to keep it nice and uh sleeperish and it's wild the damn thing is ridiculous so here we go anyway i don't know what's going on i'll just stay here i don't know it didn't do anything so i'll just stay here <laughs> all right so we'll see how this is second run i'm going all out see how uh what times i can get this bad boy down into 4,000 RPM, it just takes its time. It doesn't spin, it's not doing anything in particular, really. Braking early, a little understeer, that's fine, just rolling on the throttle, make the car turn. Brake early, let it track out because it doesn't have as much power. The torsion just makes the rear dance a little bit more, but that's fine, you just easily counter steer. A little scrub of the speed, let it drift around. Gonna come through here, brake early, carry the speed around, flooring it already. Tap of the brake just to get in, flooring it. That 59 mile per hour limiter, baby. Woo! Stay tight. Rolling on the gas. Feels nice and solid through here. A little lift. Partial throttle up the hill. Full throttle going up. The torsion grabs. Staying tight all around here, a little tight. Didn't want to carry that out, didn't need to. Brakes early so I can get in here and shoot the gap. All right, so that was a 69.920. So that's exactly three seconds slower than a fully prepped NC. And I don't think this is going to go that much faster. In the right hands, maybe, we'll probably get down to a mid 
low 69 low 69 i think this may have the best but that is still saying a 69 versus you know we were running 67s and a high 66 today in the other str cars being an nc fully prepped nc fully prepped and b i mean uh nc and d as in david the uh 2006 and carceps so yeah i don't know man so does this have a place? Let's shut off the car real quick. So the question is, does this have a place in STR? It does not, I'm sorry. As far as competitively. Coming out, having fun, absolutely. There is a, there's, just looking in here right now, I see one, two, three, and Bs four NBs just looking around in the SCR grid. So it's not like there's not a place for them in the sense of people wanting to drive them. I mean, it was around for quite some time, right? But man, the car is fun. The car is fun, it, it just it just can't keep up. So you need like another, man, just put this damn thing in STP. Them fuckers ain't even fast anyway. <laughs> they can't keep up with STR. They can't put on their full headers. I mean, Everything's just lacking the STP. So just put put the MBs in SCP just to just say why not and, and call it puny. You know, you got you got pony car and then you got puny car. Let's just say that. Why not? Fuck it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do I do like the NB uh, more not more so than the NC. I'm sorry. The NC is just a more of a hoot to drive. The power is lacking on this. You do have to sweep this car a lot more. Um, so uh, I kind of take it back. Somebody that probably knows exactly what they're doing with the sweeping lines probably can edge off probably a half a second to a second on this, I, I believe, wholeheartedly. But in the end, man, STR, no go. Next car up is going to be Captain Slow, which is an STS car and a competitive STS car nationally. So it's going to be like, okay, if I ran this in, the, in this car, a 69, 9, 2, 0 in this car, if I can't at least run that in that car... I don't know, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty bad. It's gonna be pretty bad. And I'm sorry, MD, MBs. You're you're nice. You, you have a place. It just ain't here. Take your ass home. Do something. Uh, hang out in non-comp. Uh, go go straight to DP. You know everybody loves DP. Everybody loves T DP. Danny doesn't like it. He said he'll he'll he chooses death. So nice car. Probably a little bit faster than SCS car. Too slow for STR but it's still a fun car nonetheless. So money-wise, uh, pick up one of these. They're, they're, they're running pretty low, easy to mod, uh, bulletproof. Um, so they're good cars. And if you want the speed, still a damn V8 or V6 in it actually from the Camaro. So that's it guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll put any edits and shout outs to uh, Trevor. Uh, shout out to the WDCR crew for letting me do this. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Next car is Captain Slow. Let's see how that bad boy moves. And I see some dark clouds, clouds coming in, so I got to get his stuff ready. All right, catch you guys later. Hey, Trev, what you got here?